Hey guys, it's Rick. I'm back again for another Walt Presents Fan Beat. I actually had this video up earlier and the sound didn't go through. So, I'm going to do it again. So this time we've got Bambi, which is the fifth Disney film. Of course, I will be referring to some notes I've taken down here for the chat. Bambi uh, came out on August 21st of 1942, but it was an interesting road getting there. 1933, Sidney Franklin bought the rights to Bambi. A Life in the Woods. Then sold it, it was even too difficult to shoot to Walt Disney in 1937. This was intended to be Walt's second animated feature. But because of the very dark book, very grim uh, book, and the problem with making the animation for the deers look realistic, they ended up shelving it, moving forward with Pinocchio and Fantasia and Dumbo. They could get it right because Walt was a perfectionist. The script went into many different directions with the characters being added and, re and removed. And I decided on the focus would be on Bambi, Thumper, and Flower. At one time, Thumper was supposed to have been, there were supposed to have been six rabbits. Uh, but they decided, hey, let's scale that back. I mean, we'll have rabbits in there, but let's just make one main one, which ended up becoming Thumper. Uh, Bambi's mom's death, one of the most famous scenes in the film, was going to be animated. They decided to change it to being off screen to kind of keep the grimness down some. And the hunter that caused the fire was to be burned up. But they also decided to move that with uh, good reasons for family entertainment. Uh, the animators visited the Los Angeles Zoo, and Disney set up a small zoo with rabbits, skunks, and owls, and ducks so the artists can keep the movements down. You know what? Like I said, Walt was a perfectionist. He wanted things to look like they're supposed to. He had done deers before in Snow White, but they, but they didn't like the movement. He wanted something better. Uh, they brought in Rico LeBron, a, a painter of animals, to come lecture on the structures and movement of animals. In other words, the final design was chosen for Bambi. But unfortunately, due to all the revenue loss and some of his past movies, of Pinocchio and Fantasia, Disney was forced to have to cut 12 minutes out of the film for final animation to save production costs because you know, Walt had spent a lot of money on these animated movies and wasn't getting returns and most of that was because of World War II. He didn't have access to the European market like you have with Snow White. Uh, so Bambi was released in 42 and it was being re-released in 47, 57, 66, and 75, 82, and 88 with multiple releases over the year. It was released on video in 1989. Uh, Actually, it ended up going behind E.T. is the best-selling VHS tape of all, all time with 9.5 million copies sold. Uh, like, although they would hope it would make more, it didn't. It was still a success. It made $1.2 million on the $858,000 budget. Uh, it would become the third highest grossing film for Disney, but it made, again, it made more money through the re-releases. Actually, eventually grossing $267 million worldwide. So it did, it was a success. It just took years to, to really grow and become a, uh, a major success. Critics didn't like it at all. They hated it. They, they, they felt it was grim, it was dark, and they just didn't like what they saw. Even Walt Disney's daughter didn't like it, wondering why he had to kill Bambi's mother. And, uh, but he said he wanted to try to follow some of the book. Although she criticized him for saying, but, but Dad, you've been known to change things before. Why this? But it was important to him to have that in there. It wasn't nominated for three Academy Awards for Best Score, Best Song, and Best Sound Recording. <clears throat> it didn't win any of them. You know, I don't feel the music in this one was very memorable. Uh, they're not, the characters don't sing these songs. Uh, it, it's background music. It's, uh, there was only four songs in the film. I mean, it, it's not bad, but, you know, it, it just doesn't follow your tradition. Like, there's no human characters in it. All of it is animals. Um, almost kind of like a silly symphony, except longer. It, you know, this is my first time seeing Bambi in many years, and I felt it was, it was just okay. I didn't hate it. I didn't love it. 
it was just okay. It's just a life of a deer growing up from birth, becoming the prince of the forest. His dad and the family is actually like the leader of all the deers and well respected with the animals. You know, it's it's a, an interesting picture. They actually did make a direct to video sequel that's actually which I have. We're supposed to cover that time frame from his mom dying to getting older. So I'll probably end up checking that out eventually just to see how that was. But I mean, it, you know, it, it's not a bad film. The animation, I think, is very beautiful. I like the characters. And like I said, Thumper's my personal, personal favorite. I love that they have a skunk named Flower. That's just hilarious to me. And... And Bambi ended up being voiced by Donnie Dugan, who, and among other characters, as they change his voice as he gets older. But Donnie was probably the most famously known for being the son of Wolfgang von Frankenstein in Son of Frankenstein. So, which Disney continued to hire celebrity a actors for his voice cast, which is always good to see. I mean, I, I think it's still a good picture isn't but it, it is a, a lot darker than you would expect what but, but still need to be holding in a classic to have in your collection if you don't all right guys take care i will link the trailer below so check that out and go watch a movie